Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, as promised, I'm going to be talking to you about tools and makeup brushes. As a makeup artist, I own a lot of brushes and tools. Many of them are bought by myself and a lot of them are sent to me for reviews. However, in this video, I'll be super straightforward with you and super honest when discussing quality because I want you guys to know exactly which ones to buy and which ones are worth spending money on. I know many of you cannot afford to buy too many different brushes and cannot splurge on expensive ones. So this is why I'm here to guide you in your decision. This video is going to show you which ones are the essential tools for personal and for professional use. So I'll be putting two different kits for you guys. So I'm going to go in stages just the way I'm applying my makeup. So first things first is the face tools and face brushes. The first two brushes I'm going to compare are the Morphe M439 and the Zoeva 102. Both of them are my favorite. One of them is bigger than the other. The Morphe one is a little bit bigger. They buff the foundation into the skin flawlessly and looks like it's airbrushed. They're really nice brushes, both of them. If you want a cheaper option, you can go for Morphe. It is a great quality. I really, really like this brush. My other absolute favorite is the Sigma F80 Flat Kabuki brush. And I'm really fond of this brush. I find myself reaching for this one most of the time. If you guys want a cheaper option, you can go for the Real Techniques Buffing Brush, which is also very, very good for applying foundation. I do use this one a lot as well. So yeah, if you want a cheaper option, go for the Real Techniques. The next two are two of my favorite stippling brushes that I use to stipple foundation and uh, make a smooth, more diffused finish as opposed to rubbing on the foundation or brushing it with a stiff foundation brush. Next, I'm going to show you my favorite concealer brushes and this one is by MAC 191. I use this one to apply the concealer and also I use it to contour and highlight my face with creams. This one is definitely my favorite concealer brush. This is the Queen by Makeup Addiction and it really diffuses the concealer perfectly into the under eye area so it doesn't look like you're wearing any so I do recommend this one a lot. The Sigma P84 I use to cream contour certain areas like the cheekbones just to sculpt them and also around my nose. Now I'm going to move on to my favorite powder brushes. The Bobbi Brown powder brush is one of my favorites. It's more on the pricey side so you can compensate this one with something cheaper that I also really really like. This is the Real Techniques Multitask Brush. I use this one to apply my powder. I also use it to apply bronzer sometimes and blush. So this one brush can be used for many different purposes. So if you're not a professional, you'll probably just need this one for powder, blush, even bronzer. An angle brush is something I believe everyone should have in their kits. It's a very multitasking brush. You can apply bronzer, contour and blush with it. It's actually perfect for applying blush on the apples of the cheeks. This one is by MAC and if you guys want a more affordable option, you can go for the Morphe S13. I like it. It's very soft. I like how it's shaped and um, after several washes, it retained its shape. So it's a great quality. Next, I'm going to show you guys my favorite contouring brushes. And this one is by Sigma. It's the F05. I use this one a lot. It's very, very precise, so it gives you that nice and chiseled cheekbone look. So I would recommend this one a lot. Next one is by Makeup Geek. It's the Angle Contour Brush. It's very small, so this one is very, very good for detail contouring. If you really want that sharp line under the cheekbones or around the nose, you can use this one. Next one is on the more expensive side. This is the Chikuhodo Highlight Brush. I use this one for contouring, even though it's a highlight brush. <laughs> Next, I'm going to show you the Sigma F35, which is a highlighter brush. I recommend this one a lot. I use it all the time. The shape is perfect for applying that, you know, hint of highlighter on the tops of your cheekbones. If you want an affordable option, I would definitely go for the Real Tec Techniques setting brush. I use this one sometimes to apply powder underneath my eyes over the concealer and I also use it for highlighting my cheekbones. So this one can be a multitask. Next one is the Chikohodo cheek brush and this is my favorite blush brush. I use this one a lot. It's very, very, very soft. If you guys want something more affordable, you can either go for the Morphe M403. It has that perfect shape for applying blush on the cheekbones. It's softish. It's not very, very soft as the Chikuhodo, but it is soft. 
or you can check out the MAC 129. It's also one of my favorite for applying blush. Moving on to the brow brushes, my absolute favorite and the one and only that I always use is the number 12 Anastasia Beverly Hills double sided brow brush. It has an angle side which I use to apply my dip brow or my brow powders and the spoolie side which I used to brush my brows and put them in place. Next I'm going to show you the eye brushes and this one is MAC 224 blending brush. This is used to apply color into the crease and also transitioning shades into the crease. Affordable option is the Sigma E35. It's also a fluffy crease brush. And I like this one by Morphe. It didn't have a number. I'm going to try and look it up for you guys. It's also tapered so it can be um, perfect for applying that color into the crease. Now this one is one of my favorites. is the Sigma E36. I use this one a lot for darkening the outer part of my lid area and also for defining the crease really perfectly because it's very small and very tapered. This is also one of the brushes I use a lot for defining the crease and it's the Sigma E45 it's definitely on top of my list for crease brushes the Morphe bullet crease brush is something I would use on the outer part of my eye to define it and also to define my crease to smudge product and um, define my lower lash line as well I would use this as a soft pencil brush you can also blend with it my favorite pencil brush is MAC, which I didn't show here, but alternative to that would be a Sigma E30 and uh, also have one by Crown, which I'm going to show you now. These ones I used for smudging liner and also smudging product, defining the crease and also defining the lower lash line. So they are a great addition to your brush family. Pencil brush is something you must have. MAC 217. <laughs> this brush is my absolute favorite brush if I had to choose one brush that would be the MAC 217 brush to have in my kit and all the other brushes I don't have to have I'll just have to have this one brush it can be used for applying color into the crease defining the crease you, I mean you can just do everything with this brush you can even put color on the lid blend Al alternative to this one would be a Sigma or a Morphe C433 the Morphe C43 it's it's kind of dense and um, and harder than the Sigma so if you just have to choose one probably I would go for the Sigma if you can't afford the MAC to apply eyeshadow on my lid I'm using MAC 239 most of the time or I use the Zoeva 234 I like both these brushes you can use any brand really as long as it's shaped the same Sigma E59 is a larger shader brush which I use to apply color all over the lid and the Morphe S28 is what I like when I do cut crease I also like this one for applying color on the lid when you're doing that spotlight you know because you just want um, a little bit of color on certain area of your eye so it the flat definer brush is something that also I believe everybody should have because it's perfect for applying color on the lower lash line just defining that lower lash line it's very very precise you can go for the Sigma or you can go for the Morphe, whichever one you can afford, but they both do the same job. My personal favorite is the MAC, which I didn't show in this video because I couldn't find it. But yeah, these brushes are amazing. Next, I'm going to show you guys my favorite eyeliner brushes. To apply gel liner and um, winged liner, I use MAC 208. This is my favorite brush. I've tried other angle br brushes, but they don't do the same job. This is really my top pick for an angle brush. Next one is the MAC 210. This one is also something I wouldn't replace with another brush. So if you guys can afford, please invest in these two brushes for eyeliner. I just find them really perfect. I have other thin brushes like this one, but I just find them they don't do the same job. The Morphe M217 is amazing because it's bent, so applying gel liner would be really super easy. I just love the shape of this. Two of my top smudger brushes are the Morphe M213 and the Coastal Sense BRB S01. The Coastal Sense is a little bit larger and the Morphe is um, more precise, so I tend to use the Morphe one more. I use them for smudging liner and for also defining um, the crease, if I do cut crease. <laughs> These three are an absolute must-have if you have a smaller eyelid. They're very good for applying eyeshadow on the lid and also for the inner corner of the eye. I tend to use these three a lot. I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills number no. 18 concealer brush as a lip brush. 
Mixing plate is something that you should invest in. It's something like $5 for the set of mixing plate and spatula. I use this to put my foundation on it and to mix cream colors and liquid products. The spatula is also very nice to have because it's very hygienic, you know, you can sanitize it and yeah, pick up lipsticks with it, pick up concealer, foundation, anything. The beauty blender is also a good investment. This one can be used for blending your foundation, your concealer, any of your cream products. You have a lot of the generic ones on the market, so you don't have to buy the original one, which is more expensive. You can use any sponge, really. Even cosmetic sponges would do. The Vero Mona color switch is something I always take with me to my workshops and my classes because it's very convenient to clean your brushes in between applications. It's also a good thing to have at home because what if you don't have like 10 or 12 different brushes, you only have one or two. So you can clean them on this between applications. I'm sure there's something that will substitute for this. I'm not sure I uh, found a dupe, but if you guys know of anything that can do the same job, let me know. My favorite lash glue is Atelier Paris Lash Glue and this one is hardcore guys. You know, once you put this on, your lash is gonna stay on the whole day until you actually remove them yourself. You need an oil-based eye makeup remover to remove them so you don't rip them off. These two products are two of my favorites to dilute stuff with it. The Atelier Paris Air Thinner is for the airbrush but sometimes I use it to dilute my liner just a little bit and the Inglot Drops I also use to mix eyeshadow with to make it more intense and also to dilute my gel products. Eyelash curler and a tweezers are a must, something that you need to have in your kit. I usually use Anastasia pink ones but I couldn't find them so I'm showing you these ones. I don't know where I got these from. Disposable mascara ones are important if you're a makeup artist because you don't want to spread germs so you need to use these ones. To clean my brushes, I use the Morphe brush cleaner and disinfectant. This one I use, um, I just put it in a spray bottle and I take it with me on set. So what I do is I just spray some on a tissue, on the brush, I swirl the brush on the tissue to clean it in between applications. I of course deep cleanse them with the brush soap. This one I got from Morphe but you can use any disinfectant brush soap. I wash them after every foundation application because I'm scared of germs <laughs> I don't want to get acne too so I always tend to clean my foundation brushes after every use lip balm is something you must have in your kit it's very important you don't want any cracks in your lips cotton buds are important as well just to cleaning up the makeup if you make a mistake it's easier to just clean up with a cotton bud cotton rounds are also important just to have something with you and makeup removing wipes which I didn't show in this video I also carry a little makeup removing lotion with me or liquid these are the alcohol swabs I always take with me to sanitize my tools especially tweezers lash curlers the spatula and just other things as well these are optional shadow shields are to protect your under area from fallout especially if you use glitter you can also use scotch tape, you don't have to buy these ones. If you guys added me on Snapchat, you will know how obsessed with it I am. I snap everywhere I go, literally, and everything I do, everyone I meet is on my Snapchat. When I see the snaps back from you guys asking me questions and interacting, I get super excited and I kind of sort of feel like you're there with me. So it's exciting to actually be able to interact with you guys. So I have an idea that I wanted to run by you and kind of get your approval on it. If I may, of course. I was thinking of starting a lifestyle channel, which is going to be more like a vlog of my life in Africa, in Tanzania. And also I do travel a lot, so I'm going to be taking you around the world with me to show you different parts of it and uh, how I have fun where I go. I'm going to take you with me on my workshops around the world and also I'm going to be showing you how to cook. I love to eat and I love to cook, so I'm going to be showing you some of my favorite recipes and also I'm going to be showing you my daily workout routines and a bunch of other things. I'm not sure if I ever mentioned to you guys, but I am a tactical girl. I like tactical defense situations and drills. I do practice almost every Sunday at a shooting range. I also have my everyday carry with me, which is my Glock 26, my extra magazines, my knives, torch, pepper spray, and gloves. I know a lot of you won't understand, but to all my girls that understand what I'm talking about, then uh, I'm going to either have a separate channel on 
self-defense or I'm going to put it into my lifestyle channel. So let me know what you guys think of my ideas. I would really appreciate your input, whether it's a yay or a nay, I would like to know in the comment section below. So drop me a comment letting me know if you want to see something like this or not. Thank you again for watching guys. I hope you learned something on brushes and tools in this video and uh, I will see you soon with another tutorial. Until then, stay blessed. Love you guys. Bye. Mwah.